Was the last scene still the belief around noon on Friday? Uh, that's what, that's our understanding is that, uh, you know, that we're going with you last scene on Friday morning, yep. By mom? Uh, that's what we're about to believe, yeah. Hey, what's going on, my good people? We back. We back at it, you know. And um, what y'all just heard was a clip from Lieutenant Gherkin. And, of course, he's been on the case of three-year-old Braylon Noble. And what he told us is that the police department has been led to believe that the last person that seen Braylon was his mother. So, in this video right here, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about the day that Braylon went missing. Okay? We're going to talk about when he went missing. And some of the things that was going on the day he went missing. So, yeah, y'all know how we do. Come on, ride with me. Braylon Noble went missing Friday, September the 4th. And so in this video right here, I want to look at what the neighbors had to say and what was going on that day. So let's start with this one. This neighbor right here said that earlier that day before he went missing, he was in the house crying and a lady that sits on her porch every day came out and was being nosy. And the mom was yelling at her, telling her, my baby cry, why you being nosy? But the lady said the baby's been crying the whole entire morning. Okay, a couple things. Who is this lady? They need to interview her. She need a statement. Okay? And if this was Braylon that they heard, this lady, not only was she being nosy, she was being nosy because this baby, they didn't heard this baby crying all morning. Okay? Don't forget that. And Dejanae got the nerve to be yelling at this lady like, why are you being nosy? My baby cry. So my thing is, where did she encounter Dejanae? Was Dejanae hollering that shit out the window? Um, was she standing outside? Where was she when she spoke to this lady? You know? So let's, let's look at another neighbor. This person said that the man and the lady that stays downstairs from them said the baby was crying the whole morning and then all of a sudden it got quiet, 100. So I took this to mean that whoever these people are live in the same building as Braylon and Dejanay. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's, that's how it sounded to me. But most importantly, they said, again, the baby had been crying all morning. But what stood out in their statement is that all of a sudden it got quiet. Wonder what happened. Which leads me into this next message. Come on, y'all, ride with me. We about to break this shit all the way down. Something's not right. Let's look at what one neighbor posted. I left for work around 8 30, 9 o'clock. I was running late. And I heard a baby crying loud enough for me to look around. Then my boyfriend kids took the dog out at like 10, 10, 30. And they said he was screaming like he was getting a whooping. Then they heard a big boom when they went in the house. The detective asked them if they seen the baby, but they said they heard him, but never seen him. My front door right by the window. So they would have seen him if he fell. Okay, so couple things. This person at about 8 39 o'clock said they heard the baby crying loud enough for them to look around as if the you know like what the hell is going on okay and then the kids said between 10 and 10 30 he's screaming like he getting a whipping so he's still crying that went along with the other two messages he had been crying all morning because if you think the baby heard at 8.30 and then heard again at 10.30, still screaming, still crying, that's a long time for a baby to be crying. I wonder what time that one lady went and sat on the porch. The one Dejanae was, was yelling at. I wonder what time she was out there. Because it seemed like, to me, 
was consistent is that they could hear Braylon crying. And just like the last message, this one too said they heard a big boom when they went in the house. So, to me, it seems like this big boom ties into the statement made by the last neighbor where they said they that that all of a sudden he got quiet so I mean is it safe to assume that maybe that big boom had something to do with him becoming quiet don't know what the big boom was but the detectives must have been thinking okay well maybe that's when he fell out the window because they asked him and they like, nah, we heard him. We never seen him. But they was this, this person is basically saying that her door is so close to the front window that if he did fall, they would have seen him. They saw nothing. And then at 12, 13, on Friday, September the 4th, Grandma called 911. 911, where's your emergency? <laughs> Yes, we have a missing three-year-old. Okay, what's the address? This is nonverbal. Three, uh, 15, Gibraltar Heights. I mean, 3415, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, 3415. 3415, Gibraltar Heights. Is there an apartment number? Yes. I'm sorry. Your name? Yes. Your name? <laughs> My name is Bobby. Bobby is B-I-E Johnson. Bobby, is she white or black? Black. black. And you said you have nine to go Yes. How long has she been missing? <laughs> it's easy. Him? We've been looking for him for over a good 30 minutes. Okay. <laughs> he fell out his window in his apartment. <laughs> You think he's hurt? I'm, I'm hoping he's out. I'm hoping he's okay, but we don't know where he at. We want the whole house. Okay. And what was he wearing? Do you know? Um, what kind of was his job? Because he found the window with his uh, poor boy. What's his name? Oh, my God. Braylon. B A Y L R B R A Y L Y L I N B R A Y L B A L E N And what's his last name? L E N. Um uh what's my last name? Noble. Noble. Oh god. Okay, what was he wearing? Um he had on this pull up. And um, was was that the oh and shirt? I don't even know what shirt he had on. This what color was the shirt? T-shirt with the orange at the bottom. Or was it the gray one? He changed it out. I don't even know what shirt he put on. Okay, what's your phone number? Did you guys go back by the creek and look by the creek anywhere? Yes, we went all back there, by the pool area, the swing area, all of that. And on the back end on the other side. Oh. Okay, there's no one in the house? No, we looked in the closets and everything. Okay. Did you look under the bed? Yes. Okay. Did you look in like the hampers or any blankets? Yeah, because we only have one bed in the in the apartment. Okay. All right. Oh, God. Well, we green windows, like, wide open. Okay. Okay. Well, we can see found their way there, okay? Okay. They're coming there. All right. Okay. Be looking for them. Okay. All right. Oh, God. Okay. This 911 call was made at 12.13 on Friday. 
So here we got the kids talking about between 10 and 10.30. They heard a loud boom. They heard the baby crying, then the loud boom. And then at 12.13, grandma calling 911. Talking about they can't find it. So think about this. Then we missing about two hours. What happened in two hours? I mean, in, in my opinion, they want us to believe that within these two hours, he fell out the window, went missing. Remember, mom said she on the balcony, grandma in the living room. Well, what happened with all the crying? While he was crying, you were sitting on the balcony? I'm just, I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this. What happened within two hours? It does not fit. It don't fit. None of it. It don't fit. And in my opinion, whatever happened to him, he never left the area. And he was gone by the time Grandma called 911 at 12.13. Because when the police got there at 1230, they began to look for him. And in one of the uh, police interviews, they said they checked that entire apartment that Braylon was staying in. He wasn't there. Where was he? Again, we're missing two hours. Two. Don't forget that Grandma told us in that 911 call that they had searched for him for 30 minutes before they even called the police. So if that call went in at 12.13 and they had already searched for him for 30 minutes, I mean, what are we looking at? About 11.45-ish? We got kids hearing him screaming between 10 and 10.30. Then a big boom. It goes silent, dead silent. And now y'all can't find him? Fuck out of here, man. It don't make sense. The timing is off. Know that. And it, it made me feel like at this time, something happened to him in that house. And I'm going to show y'all why I think that. Let's look at the interview again that Dejanae gave. Um, Lights, camera, action. Um, it's been four days since my son has been missing. And I just want whoever to have him, please take him somewhere safe. I know he's scared. And I know he's quiet. And he has stomach pains. And he's not eating. He's a picky eater. So if you want to just drop him off somewhere, please. Drop him off to the police station. You can drop him off here. Call my phone. I know he's crying. I know you can't get him to stop crying. He's being picky. He's not eating. And if he's scared, I won't be mad. Please just drop him off to me. I just want him home. That's it. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. One of the things that stood out to me in this interview was the fact that she kept talking about how much he cries. Y'all heard her. Even going as far as saying, I know y'all probably can't get him to stop crying. It almost felt like she is, she was having a flashback. She went back to September the 4th when she gave this interview. That's what it seemed like to me. I'm just saying, that's my opinion. And again, we, we got these kids saying that they heard him between 10 and 10.30. They supposedly looking for him at 11.45. That's only like an hour, 15 minutes, hour, 30 minutes. Y'all couldn't find him if he did fall out the window. Y'all couldn't find him. I mean, the story does not fit. It don't fit. And let me let me just say this because I don't want people to think that I'm saying that this girl killed her baby. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that whatever happened to him, she knows whether she did it, whether somebody else did it. Because in that 911 call, 
when when we could hear what we thought was I killed him. It could have been Dejanay in the background. But to me, it almost sounded like a child. But I don't know for sure. But to me, I mean, it all goes together. It all goes together. The timing is off. And the narrative that she put out here about him falling out this damn window don't fit. It don't fit. We can't make it fit. It don't fit. And let's not forget what the coroner said. The coroner said there was no anatomical cause of death and there was no gross evidence of trauma. So if we think about that and then that loud boom that was heard, what do y'all think happened? I would love to get y'all thoughts down in the comments. What do y'all think happened here? All I know is that whatever happened to him happened within two hours. Two. And I'm one who believes that he never left the property. That's just my opinion, though. He never left the property. Because why would somebody take him away from the property only to bring him back days later? Because, again, the police, they searched that pool multiple times and did not find it. Okay? And then, let's talk about the bloody blanket that they found at the cemetery on Saturday, September the 5th. They found a bloody bl uh, blanket. And like I said, they I know they're checking it for DNA. Got to. So at some point, was he placed there? I, I mean, I'm just asking. I'm just saying. And then not only that, what about the hole that they found in the woods? Also on September the 5th, Saturday. There was a hole. And what bothered me about this is that police said that that hole was not there the day before, which would have been Friday. So that area had already been searched and there was no hole. But on Saturday, there was. Like I said, I'm one who believes he never left the property. That area, that, that immediate area. He never left. And... What it sounds like to me is that his body had been moved more than once. More than once. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'll meet y'all down there. I'll be back. What do you hope comes out of this investigation? What I hope is the truth to come out. Because the truth need to come out. That's about it. So make the news, nigga, and watch what happens. If you make it over here on this channel, nigga, we on your ass. Okay.